Hi everyone, it's me, C Lefty Run. I'm gonna go over week one of my Boston Marathon training, which is a really long plan. It's 19 weeks, so you're gonna have to hang with me for 19 long weeks. Um, anyway, but I want to start with uh, my recovery from Big Bear has been like this. It's been like quite the roller coaster. So um, I did run a 5K six days after Big Bear, and I asked Luke Humphrey should I do the 10 K that I had registered for six days after I, I didn't realize it was a week after big bear. I thought it was two weeks. And he said, no, if you do go really slow. <laughs> so I transferred my bib to my son and I ended up getting a 5 K bib. And then I bought my 11 year old, a 5 K bib and we did a 5 K really slow. So that was six days after, and then I can't remember. Oh, and then I ran again on Thanksgiving. And then after running on Thanksgiving, I was like, holy Toledo, my hips hurt. Like I was feeling a sharp pain in my hip. And I was like, what is going on? And, um, good news is shortly thereafter, I started feeling the same pain in the other hip. So in my mind, I was like, okay, it's probably not a tear. I wouldn't be feeling it in both hips. Like what are the chances I tore both hips or did something bad. So I took five days off after that. No, no, no. Okay. So I ran on Thanksgiving and then I ran Monday. I can't remember what I did. I think Thanksgiving week, I like did the elliptical. I don't think I really ran the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I ran the Monday. I went back to work after Thanksgiving, still felt soreness after that Monday took five days off. And then ran Saturday, two Saturdays ago, I think. And that's when I finally felt pretty good. Um, the day before I ran on Saturday, I went to this chiropractor. They did x-rays and they were kind of able to confirm that like everything was fine. Um, and then based on the x-rays, they suggested some treatment at $3,000. I was like, what a hoax. Thanks for the x-rays. No, thank you for the $3,000. So, um, anyway, let's get on the subject of chiropractors. Cause I, I got to keep my body good. Like I got to get some work done while I train for a marathon. That's just something I need to do for maintenance. And, um, so I, I used to have a guy and he was really good. And now he's left to be a firefighter. And, um, I've since tried other chiropractors who just adjust me. And I'm like, I don't want an adjustment. I want someone to do what he did. And I don't know what he did, but it, it was good. And it wasn't just adjusting. So I texted the guy and I was like, what did you do? I'm like dying over here. I can't find anyone who did what you did. So he's like, oh, it's called art active release therapy. That's what I did. And then he recommended someone to me in Long Beach. So I'm going to try that place out. Meanwhile, I got a massage where the person practices active release therapy. And so I was like, okay, that was good. Um, but I want more of a chiropractic experience. So I'm going to try the guy that Dr. Ty referred me to. It's $125 a session. I think the initial is like $150. I'm just like, Jiminy Christmas. But if it keeps me well, you know, I just got to suck it up and pay. And my insurance isn't going to cover that stuff. It never does. It never covers the good stuff. So it just covers the waste of money stuff. So I just wanted to talk about that. So I'm finally back in business. I also contacted my good friend, Carmen. And I was like, girl, my hips hurt. She's like my running guru. She's a running savage ninja. I've talked about her before. I met her at Big Bear last year. And um, she's like, oh, I have this great hip, tight hip release video. I'll send it to you. It's 10 minutes. And I did it. And I felt immediate relief. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to put it in my comments, the video, in case you have like tight hips. Uh, it's a great little video and it's free. I like free stuff. Um, so that's number one. Number two, my thyroid is giving me trouble. Apparently I didn't even know it's giving me trouble. Um, shortly after I had my son, Sam, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. That's when your thyroid is too slow and it slows down your metabolism and you're tired and da, 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 da. And the doctor was like, aren't you exhausted? And I was like, I just had a baby. Like, no, I just thought that was part of having a baby. So anyway, I've been on thyroid medication ever since. So I had blood work done in June 
And I go for my physical in, what are we in December? And my doctor's like, oh yeah, your level, your thyroid levels are off. I'm like, they are. And she's like, have you been irritable? And I was like, yeah, I've been real irritable. And she's like, um, yeah, now your thyroid's going too fast. So we're probably going to have to reduce your medication. I was like, this has been going on since June. So I had to get blood work again and they're going to have to. So I'm kind of like, great. I'm going to have to go through a medication adjustment while I'm trying to train for a marathon. But I mean, it's just the way it is sometimes. So I don't want my thyroid to be too fast. Although I'm like eating a ton because I'm like, I don't know how long my thyroid's going to be. My metabolism is going to be going this fast. I better eat up now before they adjust the medication. So that is happening. Um, shoes. I bought some new rides, show them to you. These were like, oh, aren't they pretty? I think they're pretty. Um, they were like a hundred bucks, the ride 15. So I got it, got another pair for the new year. I'm putting, I put them under the tree though. So just hopefully someone will wrap them for me and I can open them on Christmas day. That's literally what I do. I buy all my gifts. I put them under the tree and I'm like, just wrap them kids and husband. And I can have something open on Christmas day. I also bought the Puma Deviate Nitro 2. Now I really don't love a black running shoe. I like something with a little flare, um, but this was the only color they had in my size. So beggars can't be choosers. I've heard great things. I like walked around in it. I'm like, ooh, I'm a bit excited about it. I don't know what it would replace for me. I don't know. I just wanted it. I'm like, how would I use this in my rotation? I'm not real clear yet. I'll find a place for it. I'll let you know when I try it out where it's going to fit in. Um, that's on shoes strength. I'm going to go back to my two full body days a week. I did one full body day last week. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to add back slowly. So this week I'm going to start back with two full body days. I tried an iFit uh, strength training video. I couldn't stand it. The guy was really obnoxious. I was like, oh, he was kind of like, hey, kid, you know, kid, you're going to get down. You know, I'm working. A I don't know. It was just not my demographic. I'm like, OK, this guy's like, I, I don't know who his demographic was, but it wasn't me. So I'm sure someone likes and thinks he's fantastic. <laughs> it just didn't work for me. I'm going back to Heather. Heather Robertson, I am going to put, uh, I'll also put links to the two videos I do during the week. If you're lost in regards to strength training, as lost as I am, maybe it'll help you. I, I don't, again, I don't know if it's what I should be doing or if I should be doing more of this or more of that, but hey, that's what I did during Big Bear and it seemed to work out all right. So, and there, what, the one I do on Saturday is about 30 minutes. And then the one I do on Thursdays is 25 minutes. And then I do core, like 10 minutes of core on the days that I don't do that. And so I'll put links to all of those in the comments because they're free. And Heather Roberts is great. She doesn't talk. It's just music and a timer. And, but she does have shorts on like short videos on explaining the moves that are separate. So if you're like, oh, I want to see how to do a proper deadlift, like she'll explain it in like a 30 second short. So I like that. Um, this week. Um, Sunday, I did six miles started week one. As I said, my average pace was nine forty six. I ran with Stephanie. Oh yeah. No, I ran alone, I ran alone on Sundays. My heart rate was one forty three. So my heart rate's about 10 beats higher than it was like towards the end of my big bear training. Don't know why not concerned at this stage of training. I just started. So it is what it is. Hopefully it'll go down. Monday, I did a seven mile progression run. And again, I'm using the Luke Humphrey plan. Look at, I got a shirt and he had a really good deal. Like day after Thanksgiving, I like bought some stuff. I think it was 50% off. Like this was like $15 and it's a really nice shirt. I should have bought more. Um, anyway, so Luke Humphrey plans, he has structured workouts. You can push them to Garmin and you don't have to figure out your pace or anything like that. So I pushed this run to Garmin because it was a one and a half mile warm up, a one and a half mile cool down, four mile progression. So typically, if I push the structured workout to Garmin, the 
warm up and cool down as a lap press. So I'm ready to start the workout. I just lap press my watch. But as I ran out the door, it started right away. And I was like, oh, oh, no lap press for this one. We're just going straight to business here. So it threw me off mentally. So I did my warm up mile like I normally do. And I was like, my watch kept telling me I was going too slow. I was like, whatever, be quiet. I'm doing my warm up mile and a half. Zip it, watch. Um, so I did seven miles that day. I did 938 for my first mile because remember I was like kind of like, dude, should I start now? Should I warm up? And then I did 841, 833, 818. And I was like, forget it. 843, 907, 928. So my average heart rate was eight, uh 151 for that. Again, like that's a marathon heart rate. What the heck? Maybe it's because my thyroid. I don't know. Tuesday was an off day. Wednesday was an off day. Thursday, I did six at 940 with Stephanie. My average heart rate was 142. And when I run with Stephanie, we chat the whole time. So Friday, six with Stephanie at 950. Heart rate was 141. High, like 140s is high for that pace for me. I don't know why. My sleep hasn't been great lately. So maybe it's because of my thyroid. I don't know. I'm going to blame everything on my thyroid moving forward. So if I don't do well at Boston, it's going to be my thyroid's fault. But I'm not going to say that. I'm not putting that energy in the universe. Cause I got 19 weeks to figure it all out. Um, Saturday today, today, Saturday, I did 10 miles. My average pace was 847. My range was 911 to 814. Like I could be anywhere in that range. I didn't really look at my watch much during this run. I really don't unless it's a pace driven workout, but when I have a range like that, I don't really consider it to be pace driven. And I did negative split though. So I did the second half faster than the first half. And I threw in some hills. About how many did I do? I think six. So, um, and my heart rate was 153. And I felt okay. I was starting, I felt like I was starting to slow at the end. But when I looked at my paces, they were still speedier than they were at the beginning. I did not take any fuel. I don't remember if I used to fuel on a 10 mile run. I was like, did I used to take something? I don't know. I had coffee in the morning and a biscotti, and then I went out the door. Maybe I should have had some graham crackers. I need to restock my graham crackers. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. We're week one of Boston training. Thought I would put my little Santa hat on. Skeletons there, and it's my last week of school next week. I get out on the 22nd, so it's very busy. I'm going to try to get down to Palos Verdes next Saturday, which is Christmas Eve. I'm going to try to do my 10 mile run in Palos Verdes. That, that's the plan as of now. I don't know if I'll make it. I don't know what Christmas Eve is going to look like. Worst case scenario, I'll stay local. So anyway, have a great week, week one. Thanks for seeing me off on this journey. Have a great day and enjoy your running this week. And if it doesn't go well, it's okay. There's always next week. And never judge a run by the first mile or the fourth or the 10th. Bye.